Welcome everybody, I am Guido Romeo and I'm here at the R2B, uh, the Research and Business Fair in Emilia Romagna, the 12th edition. And uh, here with me I have three exceptional speakers uh, who will help me present uh, the Vanguard uh, initiative. Uh, um, next to me is uh, Peter Berkowitz, uh, Head of Unit for Smart and Sustainable Growth in the Director General for Regional Urban Policy at the European Commission. Welcome Peter. Uh, Patrizio Bianchi, who is our host, uh, Regional Minister for Coordinating of the European Policy and About Development, Education, Vocational Training, University, Research and Labour, and Chair of the Vanguard Initiative. Welcome, Patrizio. Last but not least, uh, Isa Halme. Uh, Isa is a mayor of the region of Tampere, and uh, Tampere, as we know, is uh, a very innovative region, uh, home to Nokia and many other industries. And uh, so uh, let's get right back down to the important bit. Uh, Vanguard, uh, Vanguard's motto is uh, learn, connect, demonstrate, and commercialize. Uh, you have uh, five pilot projects, five pilot areas basically, um, on uh, uh, energy in uh, adverse environment, nanotechnology, uh, efficient and sustainable manufacturing, um, uh, Bioeconomy and 3D prototyping. Uh, what is uh, so innovative about Vanguard, uh, Patrizio? I'm asking you because you're one of the founders, and oh, thank but you, you will hear how is as well. Thank you, thank you, everybody. I believe that Vanguard is extremely innovative because it first is a bottom-up initiative. Is uh, moving from uh, the cities, from the regions, and uh, is truly European. So is uh, in, uh, is a, a bottom-up initiative involving the most advanced regions in Europe, working on uh, technology, on innovation, but is also innovative because it is a strong answer to this moment of Europe. It's possible to have more Europe if we work together, if we work on concrete idea, and if we work on the diffusion, the idea that we are not working for us. We are working for entire Europe, also for the peripheries, also for the small firms, also for all the institutions. So it's innovative because uh, it is uh, a real initiative, European, moving from the bottom up, uh, but looking to everybody. So uh, why is a region as uh, the Tampere region uh, into Vanguard? Because uh, uh, we in Italy look at you in Finland as uh, sort of leaders of the pack sometimes, but uh, you need Europe as much as we do. Yes, maybe the key reason for being a part of that is the way we have always behaved that you can't be internationally connected if you know, know the companies, don't know the businesses and, and so on. And uh, Tampere region, which Nokia is a good example of, is is always being connected to, to other cities. And uh, when the Nokia ecosystem was going down, we wanted to find new uh, masterpieces of economy. And the best way to find them is uh, find those best regions in Europe and try to find together what we can achieve. Thank you, Isa. Peter, uh, I understand that, uh, well, we're in a, in a special day today because uh, um, Vanguard is incorporating as a non-profit association, but this is so far uh, a very private uh, bottom-up initiative, as Patrizio was saying. Uh, why is the European Commission so interested in Vanguard? W what is there for uh, for you? Well, thank, thank you very much. Um, from a European perspective, um, you can say at the moment Europe is faced with a, a broad range of challenges, and one of these challenges is to become more innovative more competitive. Now, Europe is a very, very diverse place, and we have spent a lot of money, and will continue to spend a lot of money on investing in regions to help them become more in innovative. Now, because of Europe's diversity, we can work together to build innovative approaches which go beyond one region. And I think the Vanguard initiative is an excellent approach. It's a policy experiment. 
and it's something that we can learn from in order to think how we can build these complementarities in Europe which will make us stronger in the future. Thank you, Peter. Uh, Patrizio, I would like to go back to the, to the motto, to the claim of uh, Vanguard, that uh, learn, connect, demonstrate and commercialize. Uh, I understand that learn is obviously research, connection is, or it's broadband connection for one, but it's also connection of intellects, of experiences. Uh, what is demonstrate and commercialize? That's something that is not as, as clear as uh, self-evident. Yeah, you know that this is one of the main points of Europe. In Europe we have extraordinary researchers and on the other side we have extraordinary companies. But your problem is to connect the two. The capacity to demonstrate that research can become products and generate together value. So that we have four demonstrators in the different parts of Europe and the regions which have more experience, more history, more capacity, they became the leader of this area. For instance, in uh, biomedicine only in industry 4.0. After that, we involve the companies. It's necessary to involve the company since the very beginning. And uh, this idea to generate value is also the way to arrive to the market because in some sense, in innovation, you build the market. You are opening the new markets. You are able to demonstrate that that research became, became a solution for problems and therefore is able to generate new market. I believe that now it is in an extraordinary moment because everybody say technology destroy jobs. Yeah, but it's also generating new jobs if you are able also to open new markets. Yes, as um an economist was explaining to me yesterday, uh, it's not about destroying jobs. Uh, every, every technology destroys jobs. Uh, when there was a uh, uh, textile industry, the, the machinery destroyed jobs. But the point is, how many new jobs are you creating? Is the final uh, some uh, higher? And uh, what is the total value there? Um, what is the importance for Tampere? Because Tampere, Besides being home of Nokia, as we said, uh, it's also home to a great university. So how do you connect that part? It's, it's interesting to see you have the same issue in turning it into great commercializable innovation. Yes, we have about uh, 35,000 university students in Tampere. So it's a good center for combination of technologies and human sciences and so on. But uh, I think that in one card the idea of uh, the both direction from research to new ideas and from innovations to new ideas because without innovations you don't know really what you have to res do research with and what you, what, how you combine the two and, and that means that you have always the company level playing the new young c companies and so on. So we have felt that uh, uh, the, it's the only the knowledge-based economy that we can really rely on that the, it gives the flexibility to the society to change course when the world is changing that knowledge can always transfer to the something new and th therefore that kind of approach is, is needed. So uh, Peter back to you again on, on the European side. Uh, we're, we're starting to see here uh, the building of a new connection, of a, a new universe system of innovation for Europe, is that right? Yes, I, I, I think in, in, in part it's correct. I, I think it reflects the changing way in which the world economy is working now and the way in which Europe and its regions has to respond. In the first stage, I think we have to reflect how we can learn from what initiatives like the Vanguard Initiative are, are doing to help regions cooperate to complement each other and then I think more generally uh, in, in the longer term we have to think perhaps how we can build this strengthening of linkages between different parts of Europe more into our policy. So let's get a bit more specific uh, Patrizio on, on what uh, each of your region is, is doing actually because these are three very broad fields I mean 3D printing nanotechnology can apply it to pharmaceuticals, life sciences, but also to building spaceships. Uh, 
What is uh, happening in, uh, in Emilia Romagna? Are you specializing in one field or in one single industry? Yeah, I, I follow what we said about Ampere. You cannot invent your history, you cannot reconstruct from nothing in ecosystem. We have a number of uh, companies, small and medium sized companies, very strong in mechanics. So that the transformation of mechanics, the transformation of the basic uh, industry is important. Now the new mechanics require nanotechnologies as is requiring new instrument like 3D. But uh, what is important is uh, we are putting in this experience all our experience sharing with the others. So, so that for us, for our region, is important to learn about ourselves. It's not obvious, eh? It's not obvious to have the capacity to reflect on what we can offer to the others. And on the other side, we are partners of other regions like Tampere in something that they have developed more. This is the added value. Uh, I don't think only on my region, but I consider my region in a reciprocal change with the others, and this is also the real innovation that we are sharing together. Can we call it open innovation at regional level? Is, is that correct? Uh, it's, not, it's not only open, it's shared, it's together. And this is the strong idea, it's together. And I think there is also something that we have to learn together for the next step of Europe, after 2020. More together innovation. Uh, I agree, That's, uh, and we'll come back to that point because uh, I guess one issue is uh, how do you uh, share, how do you organize this when, once you get to the final stage of commercialization, I mean, uh, uh, sharing and cooperation is good, but there's a level of competition, I guess, that starts there. And uh, how do you handle that? Uh, yeah, uh, maybe saying a little bit about the uh, uh, the topics themselves and then it's easier to answer take an example of of, of uh, uh, this 3d printing the, it has quite a few phenomena which you can't find all yourself the technology of the printing itself the material technology uh, the different uh, environments for the technology but the behavior side what is the business model when you are not dependent on the place anymore? You can, as a small uh, company, pro make production spare parts wherever in the world you, c you can do so. You have to combine knowledges and it's very rare to have all these knowledges in the same place. And when you have companion in different regions of the parts of the new ecosystem of doing business, th then you have to make an agreement about the... Uh, IP rights and, uh, and, and how, what you create, how you can benefit, whose rights they are and what you sell. But the product themselves are almost impossible to create without a ne network where you find the missing piece of, of, the, of, of the thing, especially when you don't even know in the beforehand what you will find out after the road. So, Peter, uh, would you like to comment on this? Because uh, it seems that uh, it's not only about technological innovation, but it's also innovating the process w in which, uh, with which you produce that innovation. No, I, I agree completely with you. I, I think one of the big lessons we learned from the way in which we did innovation in our programs and cohesion policies at this time, what we call smart specialization, is that you need to bring together all of the relevant actors. You need to bring together business, the public sector, and research, and indeed civil society. And there is a process of co-creation which goes on. Uh, and this, this creates innovation, which isn't purely technical or technological innovation, but it can also be broader social innovation, other ways of working together. And I think this is an area in which Europe is particularly strong. Uh, I would like to ask you one more question on, on the EC side, if you can uh, answer to this, because uh, my understanding is that uh, um, Vanguard is, is a private enterprise for the moment. There is there are public actors, uh, namely the, the regions and and uh, local authorities, but EC is uh, for the moment is a spectator, is watching. Uh, can you hint at how EC might get on board? Uh, and what what are you? I mean, this is still very 
perspective, of course. Well, I mean, I, I think you know, the, the innovator is the, the Vanguard initiative, but it has benefited from support. We have something called a thematic smart specialization platform yeah. uh, and technical support, uh, which we as the European Commission provide uh, to encourage uh, and to help build capacity. So I think this, this is a first step. But I think in the longer run, we have to see how we can bring together the different instruments that exist at, at European level. We have our smart specialization policy, but we also have European cluster policy. We have uh, the European Institute of Technology, all operating at a European level, and which could possibly support uh, the, the initiative, particularly at this stage as it moves towards market, towards commercialization. And we will be looking very carefully to see how we can learn from the initiative, but also how we can improve our support to it over, over the next years. So we're not talking about uh, new lines or new programs or new calls, but about the use of uh, intelligent use, smart use of the existing system to support uh, this initiative. Well, I, I think in the first stage, we have to see what we can do with what we have, because we would like to move quickly. In the longer term, we will be discussing uh, the future of cohesion policy. Uh, Professor Bianchi will be attending our cohesion forum later this month. Um, and there is an opportunity to have a big de debate. Um, we had a large conference in Helsinki uh, last week, uh, more than 800 people from regions around Europe. And one of the key conclusions of this conference is that we needed to reinforce the interregional dimension. So we will be thinking about this in the future. One thing I would like to ask you is, um what um, um, what what uh, regions are doing more specifically in terms of innovation? Because uh, uh, we heard about nanotechnology, but here uh, there's uh, there are different sectors. There's definitely the bioeconomy. Uh, you have districts. Uh, uh, 3D printing for the Motor Valley is is something that is. But what are the strong points for Emilia Romagna? Let me come back to what Peter said. Uh, I believe that um, now we have to look to the next steps of Europe. And I believe that the next step in policy making is this uh, something that I call comprehensive approach. It is the capacity to use different instruments uh, to converge in the same context. You cannot uh, promote the research if you not promote uh, human resources for implementing this research. You cannot use uh, re people and research if you don't have in mind uh, the transformation of the entire territory, not only of pieces of those ideas. And this is for us is also in the territorial approach. We are not in particular interested in one sector in another. We have some sectors that are very strong, but the idea is to transform the entire society the entire economy, in order that the entire economy became smart but inclusive. Inclusive is not enough to be smart. Is uh, Smart is uh, a duty, but it is uh, the idea to have an inclusive society that is uh, our final objective. And finally, let me say, I hope that uh, Vanguard in the future can be considered as a sort of uh, an area of experiments probably in uh, this, our region, is possible to experiment this new integrated approach. That probably is not possible to do it everywhere. But uh, Vanguard, let me say, at the final stage of my presidency, I think now we are ready to cooperate with the Commission to experiment the new approach is an integrated approach in the instrument, but also in the final objectives. Um, is a, uh, will Vanguard give uh, more resilience to regions because uh, both uh, your regions have been through their share of troubles. I mean, we mentioned Nokia, but uh, Emilia Romagna in, uh, with the crisis of 2008 and uh, the earthquake has its share of, of troubles. Do you think uh, this approach, this inclusive approach, uh, will give a new layer of resilience to your region? The easiest answer is yes, and uh, then I describe it a couple of sentences that uh, to understand uh, what happened when the Nokia handsets disappeared and only the Nokia network was left, that our R&D 
expenditure was at its highest, 1.2 billion in a half a million inhabitant regions, so 6.6 percent of the GDP, and it fell down to 850 million uh, euros, a uh, uh, little over five percent of the GDP, and. Uh, That meant that uh, the approach to new sectors of economy could not lie on uh, uh, strong uh, research results. So it has to change the platform to innovation platforms, where the companies which don't didn't have the backbone of a huge research apparatus uh, to create themselves, and, and and that meant also a very rapid move to the fast economy side of of, of creative. A business arena, and that's what we believe. That one card, together with the Commission, will learn the Europe uh, how to sustain its systems to the fast economy, not in the way that that it's enough time for a year or two to wait for the results. They have to happen in a faster pace, together with open platforms and 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 much higher risk levels. But we we believe that the knowledge is there anyhow. How you combine them, how you are open. In a new level, these are the parts uh, what we learn together with our one card companions. Let me play the devil's advocate here. Um, Vanguard is 30 regions plus four that are, uh, let's say, ag uh, aggregate uh, observing regions. Uh, what if I'm a region that has not got on board Vanguard? Am I outside of the club? I, I can work with you. How does this work? Well, perhaps I answer. I think Vanguard, as its name suggests, is the most advanced partnership, uh, and it has been in action for a number of years, and it is relatively mature. But there are other partnerships, um, and we have three platforms supported by the European Commission, as has been mentioned. We have one for industrial modernization, we have one for energy, we have one for agri-food, and we see new partnerships emerging. And there is an, a question of whether they are runners or whether they are going to to stay where they are. As and this, I think, is part of the experimentation process. Yeah. And, and that the, the Vanguard is the, the leadership, but it doesn't exclude other partnerships either from emerging or for partners, to, I suppose, to join. But I leave that. that yes, absolutely. I could easily imagine companies or group of companies or research units in Romania, Bulgaria, uh, in Japan that should be part of the projects we are doing in one card. So the knowledge has to be taken from there and, and joining us wherever it's found. The one card idea is that if you are in the forefront you find the best players and wherever they come from. Look at that. Is it a plastic way? We have Tampere that is the extreme north of Europe. We have Bologna that we are in the deep south, and there is our commission. Our commission, not the European Commission, our commission. This means that inside this view, this frame, there is possibility to cooperate, to work together for everybody. But to work and cooperate, the, the, the rules is not fixed on who is entering or why is entering, but is the way we are experimenting the new Europe from Tampere to the south of, it, of Italy and of Europe. Okay, I'm, I'll uh, keep uh, questioning you on the line of uh, being provocative and uh, uh, a bit uh, populistic too. Uh, let's say I'm not a region anymore, but I'm a company. I'm a very innovative startup uh, and I'm doing nanotechnology, but uh, uh, I look at you and say, no, 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 this is with lots of red tape, is uh, European, uh, maybe they will have calls and they will be European uh, inferno and I don't want to go there. Uh, why should I get on board? Why should I try and get on board and work with you guys? Maybe the question should be put the other way around. I would imagine that 90% of the companies who are part of some one card process haven't ever heard the word one card and they are part of the ecosystem which plays with one card so the key question is that uh, do you find uh, companies to play your game with uh, who get their knowledge from the network which is part of one card so you can't go and choose I want one card 
I want to be a part of that knowledge area and I know these companies who are part of that and it helps us, to, uh, your company, to do things better. Well, perhaps I, I could add to that. I think that one thing which is very, very important, and I think it's, it's sort of the, the, at this, this very much the spirit of the Vanguard Initiative, is that we have demand-led public innovation. Is that the public sector doesn't decide what companies need, that the public sector works very closely together with researchers and business to identify the support that the businesses will need. And if you design this properly, it's a difficult thing to do, then your businesses should be more receptive because they're not looking for money, they're looking for knowledge, experience and contacts. And the, and the money is, is a secondary part of it which makes that work. So if the innovation is good, the money will come, both uh, from public uh, funding or in private investors that will be encouraged to to invest here, maybe not only from Europe, but from abroad as well. So we will be more attractive to foreign investment, as that's uh, the great challenge. Well, I, I was just going to say that um, you want to have innovation ecosystems that are attractive to businesses. That is, that, that is the, the core of the, uh, of the approach, and that is why you need to have an approach which is tailored in each region to the needs of the businesses in those regions, but can also speak to other regions to create complementarities. We started in very concrete way. We have uh, this uh, pilot demonstrator so that we have uh, specific projects, very clear. We offer these, uh, we elaborate together and we offer these projects to the regions, to the commission, to the companies. So that now our step is to build up the three, four demonstrator they are some sort of the pillars of this new European ecosystem in each project uh, there is uh, a very flexible approach there are the regions and the companies which are able to participate in something that is clear is an evolutionary process so knowledge is not a stock I have a quantity of uh, knowledge it is an evolutionary process so I believe that uh, we have an entry level, the capacity to build up the demonstrator, and after that, I believe that uh, there is the capacity of the different companies, of the regions, of all the institutions to enter in this game. But it's clear that we start from very clear industrial projects, that is these pilots, concrete way for concrete solution. This is the key of the story. Patrizio, give us a sense of what is happening uh, in uh, the next uh, couple of months. I know that you're leaving the presidency and uh, there will be uh, this incorporation as an association, but uh, uh, we, we spoke about the history of the Vanguard, how we got here. What is uh, laying ahead of us? Oh, sure. Uh, in uh, our uh, in Vanguard, uh, we had uh, the rules that every six months uh, we changed the presidency in order to give this sense that we are all responsible. Uh, uh, we take for two terms this president because this was uh, a very specific moment, the moment of transforming an initiative, a sort of voluntary initiative, in a formal association. This is uh, a process that is uh, at the end. In these uh, next few two or three weeks, uh, we sign together the first group of regions transforming according to the Belgian law the initiative into a, an association. After that, all the regions, they decide uh, with their own regional and national uh, rules to enter. And uh, uh, we pass to the new president, uh, the new presidency, the next of the next six months, and the others, the capacity now to restart with uh, the commission to reason for the future. So that uh, we need uh, in the, the next uh, few periods to start with the demonstrators, to start with involving the companies in the, the different projects, and to start to learn from what we are doing. When we speak about learn, I think that uh, we need to reflect on one side on what we learn in technology, business, uh, companies, uh, evolution. 
but I believe also what we are learning about in terms of policy making. And this is crucial because in the next two years we have a big debate in Europe about first the next round of European funds. The cohesion policy is now the real issue. There is a problem of some peripheral regions of Europe that they are not able not to spend money but to make long run projects. And on the other side, our answer is more inter-regional uh, projects. We are ready also to offer our experiences to all the regions throughout Europe. So I feel <coughs> we have to consolidate the association, the initiative as an association, and on the other side, we have to consolidate the experiences, the technical concrete experiences, but on the other side to take a part, a, a positive part in the European discussion and uh, in the design of the new Europe. Speaking of Europe uh, and its future, uh, what happens with Brexit? Because I understand that Scotland is actually part of Vanguard. Uh, how will you manage that? Of course, uh, it's a very fluid uh, moment, but uh, of course that's, um, that question is you in somehow, because uh, uh, I understand Scotland wants to be part. Many uh, research centers want to, still want to be part of, uh, of the European connection, but uh, uh, there might be some geopolitics involved in this. I truly hope Scotland continues and we really would appreciate that, especially personally, when I'm a big fan of Scots whiskey. But, uh, but, but uh, uh, also the attitude of the Scotch uh, is, is very creative and very open-minded. And at, but at the same time, three set of values are raising their head stronger in Europe because of last week's debate of environmental values. I imagine that the one card regions are those regions who bring it to the knowledge table, what it really means to try to achieve more. The, then the one Europe thinking, what the Brexit is creating stronger, that how we can create more stronger one European platform and, and, and uh, that uh, one card can, can be part of. And maybe more that kind of a unclear is uh, the debate in many countries of populism and so on, the, the democratic values, the mode wanty way of life is something that is on the table more strongly and I would imagine that in the one card family that type of approach is stronger and, and, and guiding also the new innovations, new ways of doing things. That, But to the basic questions, because of Brexit, a uh, 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 sad thing so, but uh, w because it's happening we li really hope that the uh, Scots keep active participation to one card. Is, uh, Peter, do we want to comment on that? How, how do you see that happening? Of course, that's an issue in the Commission too, because uh, there are a lot of energies, as, uh, uh, as I was saying, that uh, need not to be lost, not to be dispersed. Well, I, I think, I think there, there, there are two points. I think the first point is that the Vanguard initiative is cooperation between regions. It's not a European initiative, it's a bottom-up initiative, and it's for them to decide how they want to continue this uh, cooperation with all of the member regions. I think the, sec the second issue is that beyond the, uh, the completion of the negotiations, it's too early to say what, what precisely the arrangements will be uh, for, for funding for, for, for those regions which will be former European Union regions. If I continue that, of course, the Brexit means that the Br Britain's share of payments go, goes away, but at the same time, the cohesion policy has been such a success story that 200 million of people has gone up from the poverty to mi middle class and again in the shift on next programming period 10 to 20 regions are passing the same limit so there are more and more regions who are doing same type of creative uh, development policy what the one card regions are doing so the network is more probably growing than, than going down.